people, it's time we gotta talk. All right, I'm seeing way too much crying and whining on Twitter, on YouTube. It's getting ridiculous. All right, I got my boy Zeph with me. I gotta, we gotta spit some knowledge to you people. All right, you guys, a lot. Okay, not everybody. Okay, I see people excited about these games, just like I am. But I'm seeing way too many people expecting way too much. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. The Switch game already? Right. I don't know about that. Sun and Moon came out in November. It's June. They just announced a new game. It's coming out in November again. It's only been a year. That's a year gap. So how the hell are you going to expect the Switch game? Like, where where does that, where does it, where does it fill in? I don't understand. I don't understand why you're mad about it either, because you're getting a Pokemon game this year. If it was a Switch game, you wouldn't see it until, like, November next year. At the very they, least. Yeah, because they have Sun and Moon to work off of already. They'd have to make a whole bunch of new shit for the Switch, and it would just, no. It doesn't make any sense to complain about it, because, okay, to, first, we're not even going to talk about the Gen 4 remakes that people are also disappointed in. <laughs> um, but we're going to talk about the Switch right now, okay? So it doesn't make sense to complain about the Switch, one, because they're not going to put the sequel to a Gen 7 game on a new console. They've never done that before. They've yeah. never put the sequel to a game on an entirely new console. Like, they're not going to make red and blue and then put yellow on the Game Boy Advance. They've never done that. They're not going to make black and white and then put black and white 2 on the 3DS. No. So why would they make Sun and Moon and then put Sun and Moon 2, or I guess Sun and, or Ultra Sun and uh, Ultra Moon, on a whole new console or stars or whatever you guys are, are expecting stars or or you know sun and moon tour or whatever why would they put that on the switch like it, they they've never ever done that they're not gonna make a gen 7 game and then make another gen 7 game on a whole new console like i don't i don't understand that part it like, would screw the consumers hard too because the switch is pretty hard to get right now in north america uh it's a pretty new console too so not a lot of people own it compared to the 3ds so just making a, a sequel to a game that a lot of people have played, like a lot of people, uh, on a console that not as many people have is just a slap in the face. All right, that too. Not only that, like, would you guys have been satisfied if they announced the Pokemon game for the Switch, but it came out in 2019? Like, would, yeah. would that have satisfied you? Or is, <laughs> or is that better than a Pokemon game coming out this year on the 3DS? The I don't think it is. definitive version of a pretty good Pokemon game? Right. Like, I don't, I don't understand. And then we can talk about the fact that if you were expecting a new generation, you're actually crazy. What? Yeah, those take. Bro, Gen 7 came out <laughs> seven months ago. Yeah. They're not gonna they're not gonna come out with Gen 8. See, Gen 8, Gen 8 on the Switch makes sense, but it definitely doesn't make sense this year. Like it hasn't even been a year since Gen 7 came out. They've never released two actually I don't know about that, have they? I don't think they've released two generations like year to year like that, have they? No, there's always something in between. I don't, I don't know. Besides, I guess like, uh, no, no, I don't think there's ever been year to year. It, there's, there's, ne they've never done Gen Seven or like you know Gen Five and then the very next year Gen Six. I don't think no. they've ever done that. That isn't, yeah, that's, that's crazy. So if you were expecting a Gen Eight game, you're crazy. If it was a Gen Eight game, you wouldn't see it until 2020, probably. Right. Like what? <laughs> So we, we've covered two points here. If you are expecting the sequel to Sun and Moon to be on the Switch, you're crazy. If you are expecting Gen 8 to be on the Switch this year, you're crazy. Okay, straight up. Yeah. Not only that, okay, the worst part about all of this is that the, it's the damn Poketubers crying about it the most. I've seen Poketubers crying, why was it a Pokemon store? Man, shut your dumb ass up, man. <laughs> are you serious? The Pokemon YouTubers are gonna influence you guys to think like this. like. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here to be the voice of reason. All right. You gotta They're think planting about the seeds. Right. You gotta really think about what you're saying. It doesn't make sense to want a switch game, a main series switch game, this early. It's way too early. All right. And now we can go ahead and talk about the Gen 4 remakes. I, I like Gen 4. I would love some Gen yeah. 4 remakes. Honestly. Uh, that's a, I'm pretty sure um, that's a lot of people's favorite. Generation. I feel. Yeah. I feel like that's a little bit more reasonable. But to be upset that you didn't get them, I don't think that's reasonable. This whole thing was a mess. Like, there was people being hyped up for uh, even Kanto remakes. Re-remakes, I mean. There's Gen 4 remakes. Uh, Pokemon on the Switch. Uh, like, it's 
people were expecting a lot, I think, for no reason. Yeah, like re I mean, people are so like they love nostalgia so much. Like, can we can we move forward? Like, why we always gotta why we always gotta play a game <laughs> we played ten years ago? Not that I am against Gen Four remakes, because I love Gen Four. That's my favorite yeah, no. generation. I'd like to see it happen. Yeah, that's my favorite Just generation. Not, not Just, yet. I'm perfectly fine with a sequel. And the thing is, you guys, you guys like. A lot of people got really tired of Alola. I understand that, but this game is gonna have stuff in it that you're not even gonna expect. Like they're gonna, you know, they're gonna do something brand new. Like all, all over Alola, when you're playing, they're talking about how they're building shit and stuff yeah. isn't done. Yeah. All right. This game's gonna have so much more stuff in it than than Sun and Moon has. Like I, I feel like it's just out of sight, out of mind. You guys can't see it or you don't know about it. So in your mind, it's just like. What a drag! We're playing yeah. fucking Alola. And the trailer was like five seconds. Yeah, that too. We we, were, we barely saw anything, but we're I'm gonna pretty see. Sure poking like on for that long, put a sour taste in people's mouths, and then they get a 3DS game that they for some reason weren't expecting, and the trailer for that was only a couple seconds. And there it is. That that probably is what happened. That's all we like. We just gotta we gotta actually think about what's going on right now. We don't have any information. We saw Necrozma fusing with the legendaries. We saw some cutscenes. That's about it. Like, you know, between now and when the game comes out, there's gonna be hella info, hella stuff that you didn't expect. Like, you I know, I bet this. we'll see stuff next week. Tree right, house. All right. Like, you know this. So don't be disappointed. Be open-minded. You gotta think about what's going on. You can't just complain because you didn't get a switch game like what? whenever they make a third game too they're always great i have crystal emerald platinum black and white 2 black and white 2 was amazing like every straight. single one of those games are among the best pokemon games right man i know people that haven't gotten a switch to this day that have been looking for one and you want to switch pokemon game <laughs> no man not yet not yet they restock gone again two months right. so no. i want everybody to relax I want everybody to actually think about what they're saying. I want these fucking Pokemon YouTubers to stop spreading this bullshit around. Yeah, step back from the microphone a little bit. When, <laughs> when, you, when, when your emotions are that, I don't know. Yeah. So, like I said, we're gonna get we're gonna get good stuff in in, in this game coming up. So, uh, I'm gonna end it with that. Uh, see you guys later. I'm sure we're gonna we're gonna get more news during E3 or maybe afterwards. Yeah. For um, sure. Yeah, goodbye.